Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Oreo cake. My dad loves the Oreos and I made this cake for his birthday and he loved it and I'm sure you will too. So let's get started. First preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then in a large bowl, add the softened butter and beat it with an electric mixer for about a minute until it becomes smooth. Set it aside for now, and then into a medium bowl. Sift in the flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and sift the ingredients into the bowl, and then whisk them together until they're combined. Then add the dry ingredients in with the beaten butter. Start off mixing it in by hand. Then beat it in with the electric mixer on low speed until it forms fine crumbs. And then in a small bowl, add in the egg whites, milk, sour cream, and vanilla extract and whisk them together until they're well combined. Then add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, and mix them in on low speed until they're just combined. Be sure to not overmix the batter. Then crush up the Oreos in a plastic bag using a rolling pin and add them into the batter and fold them in until they're combined. Again, don't overmix the batter. Grease two eight or nine inch round cake pans with nonstick cooking spray. Line each of the pans with a circle of parchment paper and grease the paper as well. Then divide the batter evenly between each pan. Then bake them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Once they're done, remove them from the oven and let them cool completely. While they're cooling, you can make the frosting in the bowl of a stand mixer, or you can use an electric hand mixer, add the softened butter, and beat it on high speed for five minutes. While it's beating, sift the powdered sugar into a medium bowl. Then after the butter's been beating for five minutes, turn the speeds down to low and add in about half of the powdered sugar, adding just one spoonful at a time. Then once half is added, beat it on high speed for two minutes. Then turn the speeds back down to low and continue adding the rest of the powdered sugar, again just one spoonful at a time.
Then add in the heavy cream. Salt. And vanilla extract. And beat them in until they're well combined. Then finish it by hand to make sure all the ingredients are mixing in. Then take out one cup of the frosting and reserve it for later. And add the crushed Oreos into the rest of the frosting. And mix them in until they're combined. Once the cakes have cooled completely, run a butter knife around the edges to loosen them from the pans. Then flip them out of the pans and remove the parchment paper. Then place them onto a cooling rack. And level off the tops. You can use a serrated knife if you don't have a cake leveler. And set aside the trimmed tops. We won't need them in this recipe. Spread a little bit of frosting onto your serving plate. And add on your first cake layer. And spread some frosting on top of it. Then add on the next layer upside down on top of it. And cover the entire cake in frosting, smoothing it out as best as you can. Then add crushed Oreos onto the sides of the cake. Then to make the chocolate ganache in a small heat-proof bowl, add the chocolate chips and heavy cream. And heat them either in the microwave or over a double boiler until they're melted. And you need to let it cool down to room temperature. Then pour about half of it onto the top of the cake. And spread it out until it's covering the top. Try not to make it drip too much down the edges. You can add a little bit more if you need to. Add the reserved frosting we had before into a piping bag that's fitted with a star piping tip. And pipe swirls all around the top of the cake. And garnish it with additional crushed Oreos. And place the cake into the fridge for at least a half an hour until the ganache is set. And that's how to make an Oreo cake. Be sure to check out my channel because I've got over a hundred amazing recipes and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.